Hello, you're watching Afternoon Live. I'm Simon McCoy. All the sport with Hugh, the race to Russia. We want Wales to win. Weather and Louise, dull, grey, miserable, not you. Later, a face you will instantly recognise. But is there a bright forecast for the artist behind it? He'll be here to talk about it a little later. What do you think? Get in touch. Now on Afternoon Live, let's go nationwide and see what's happening around the country in our daily visit to the BBC's newsrooms around the UK. Let's go to Northwest tonight. Roger Johnson is uh, not in Salford, that's Stuart White. But let's go to Stuart White first, in which case... <laughs> It's, it's, it's going it's well so far, Simon. Stuart, isn't it? <laughs> first day nerves. Let's now go to Salford. Roger Johnson is there for us. And Roger, that's Stuart again. <laughs> we will get this. There he is. I know that set. <laughs> Stuart's just too good. You can't have too many helpings of Stuart White. You can watch us on the BBC iPlayer and online if you're not in the region, of course. Oh, my word. I, I don't think I've ever had to interrupt you before. And that's quite something. I've the... never listened to you before. That's my wife. <laughs> See you later. I've got a slight feeling of deja vu over that name nationwide. There is a good reason for that. Michael Barrett, former presenter of the BBC News programme Nationwide from 1969 until 1977, proving there's no new idea in television. <laughs> That's true, but congratulations on yours. Well, it, it was Happy almost a seamless well. start, but there we are. But these things happen, and, and it, it, well, when you were doing it, of course, live television was well far harder than it is now. Well, from... I never forget the very <laughs> second programme we did. And uh, we had a story about a man who, believe it or not, drank 24 pints of beer every day of his life. And so I introduced I this. I sympathise. <laughs> so I introduced this programme and said, now we go to meet Britain's biggest boozer and turn to the big screen and there on the screen in full regalia, cap, medals, the lot, was the Chief Constable of Essex. <laughs> <laughs> who sued us afterwards. He didn't. He did, yes. We are talking about making mistakes at work because the Office for National <laughs> Statistics has had to correct an error on unit labour costs. At the age of 17, you're at school in Australia telling all your mates that you're a dancer. Mm. So a lot of them are going, yeah, yeah, yeah. Normally I would, I would sort of point out um, that I was, I was in a room full of ladies, or girls, and, uh, and they would be off, you know, tackling each other in rugby and I'd be dancing lifting girls in ballet things. Although I never dated any of those girls. <laughs> Weird. Some retailers like Poundland who've said that they will continue to accept the old ones all the way to the I, end of October. I, I, just let me do this again because the director keeps saying show us on camera too. I mean it's a ridiculous shot. Nobody can see that but he's just trying to humiliate me and so he's done it again. There we are. At the end of the day and you, you sit down tired, exhausted and hungry. What do you have? Oh, like by the end of the day, by the time we finish cooking, oh God, like one o'clock in the morning, I've only really got, you to just go to the fridge and scoff a load of cheese. I just wanted to show you, uh, this oh, is Hollister. No. This yeah. isn't a holiday show. No, really, no. <laughs> Two I, of you in one shot, that's terrifying. Have you seen these pictures of Roger Federer? Uh, he should stick to tennis. Uh, <laughs> because what's, what on earth is he doing in these pictures? I have seen him, have, yeah, a little dance with Mickey there. I, mean. I, I always could draw ever since I was a, a little boy. I remember when I was about three, I used to draw sharks on my mother's wallpaper. <laughs> that, went, that went down well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> And over the years, I just carried on drawing. I've got Prezi for you. Yeah. Just... Well, you know, I was feeling a bit inadequate with Tom coming in and showing off like he does. <laughs> so here we go. Are you ready? This is. I thought anybody could do this. This yeah. is you, Simon. I'll autograph it for you later.